video about the Discovery Mind Blown model engine kit, which has STEM on the front, which is supposed to mean your kids are going to enjoy it. And I can see that they're going to enjoy it because, because here's a picture of a kid hanging off a beautiful uh, crankshaft. Now, I used the crankshaft, the plastic blue pl crankshaft in here that looks nothing like that, and I tried to hold my kids off it, and they just really weren't impressed at all. So that's the first black mark for this model. Unboxing it. Okay, so we got lots of packaging, a well packaged engine in there, um, but we're gonna need a few parts if we wanna build this engine. A screwdriver, another screwdriver, a banana, and a jar. Uh, something, something where to put the engine afterwards. We're going to use that model engine. You're going to need a spanner. You, uh, you're probably going to need a hammer. Of course, you can't forget your shell. You need a shell. Uh, some silicon. Lubricant, you're going to need that, silicon. Uh, I think best to have ukulele or similar. And finally, uh, best to have a personal massager. Okay. Oop. Must have turned it on. Right, so you take your hammer. Yep. And ready, city. Okay, so once you have the right tools, um, it is pretty quick to build. Right, let's review this. And we're going to review the build process. So, first of all, there are other ones available out there. This is a recent kit. Kind of kind of turned up in my, um, in my house. I really... Look, I think it was given to us by a friend. Uh, it's not something I would buy myself. I like my model engineering to not be plastic, frankly. And, um, okay, does it go? Yes, it goes. Um, I took a lot of care uh, filing uh, off edges and making sure, for example, that there was as little friction as possible because otherwise you can end up with a very jerky um so i'm going to put this uh in the base this is not the base that came with it uh i don't particularly like the base that came with it um but i feel now that i've wasted a perfectly good wooden box because this thing is you know it's pretty crappy, let's face it. Uh, yeah. And you've got a two-piece uh, induction manifold uh, on this side. Um, but I'm not, uh, you know, the reason I've taken those off is because it's hard to see through. So if you look at the model that I found at my local mechanic. Hi, I'm at my friendly local mechanic. I'm just comparing this engine from uh, Discovery with this one. I thought it might have been the Haynes engine, but apparently it is Trends, Trends UK. So actually very similar inside. You've got the same kind of um, construction in the... Uh, crankshaft which is not circular it's a kind of a plus cross section um, similar attachments at the back for making it work I think this one is a better clear plastic and I'm much happier with the um, the fan but this one just looks wrong but um, yeah so I thought there was going to be a size difference but not as much as I remembered Thank you. Uh, you'll see that that is a clearer plastic, and I think that helps. Um, 
it's hard to see hard to see this i don't know if you can see there you can see the um the no you can't really there it is there's one of the leds that represents the spark going if you look through this at the weather outside it might um might give you a better look yeah there we go so let's try that again Um, am I going to keep it? Look, I was sorely tempted. I was sorely tempted to do one of those YouTube videos where they, you know, fill it up with petrol and then see if it will run on petrol. I mean, if you'd like to just take a few seconds imagining that now so I don't have to do it. Um, yep, I'd probably drill out the oil cap. Uh, fill it up with petrol, um, stick it out on the you know on the lawn or something in the garden, and flick a match on it, get it running beforehand. Of course, now, yes, that's just pretty dumb, but it might be the most interesting thing I could do with it. Um, about the kit, you do get spare belts, um, toothed one, and this one. Uh, you can see that the fan has very shallow blades, which looks silly. Um, other than that, uh, it's not too silly looking. Um, and the build process was, you know, it was mildly diverting for an hour or two. Um, it's hard to get, hard to understand from the instructions how to put that um, camshaft together. Uh, but the you know it's not it's not the Chinglish that we see sometimes. The English is re is reasonably good. It's just a little bit ambiguous when it gets to the valve, uh, the valves, the camshaft, and getting the timing right. And the other complaint is that these um, were very very tight and they cause most of the friction. This is very tight here and very tight in there with the timing belt. Yeah, so it's a plastic engine. Why do I think I'm going to keep it? I think I'm going to keep it because, you know, at the end of the day, I might want to get one of my kids over and say, hey, look, this is the part of the engine on your car that we have to check, or this is the part that's, you know, this is how it works, whatever. It's not totally useless. Um, I don't like the scale, I must say. So putting them um, side by side, you know, that's that, that's pretty big. It's going to take up a lot of room in my model cabinet. And I don't think it deserves to be there, being as it's a mass-produced um, mass produced toy, really. Um, I, I'm not sure that many... Uh, hobby engineers like myself would buy one i think it's more likely that you'd get them as gifts okay so yeah that's it um i'm probably going to leave the these bits off because it helps you to see what's going on up in the valve train a whole lot better I think that there are several versions of these. Uh, one of the oldest was made by Haynes, the people who do the car um, fix-it books, manuals. Um, but I've seen V8 models on uh, advertised over in China. Uh, but teaching, teaching makes uh, beautiful quality metal models of one cylinder v2 and four cylinder uh, i think they may have even launched a v8 those are much better looking 
Um, easier to see the parts. Of course, they're significantly more expensive. So, thank you for watching.